The keel-laying ceremony has taken place for HMS Anson, the Royal Navy's latest astute-class nuclear submarine. She'll be one of seven of her kind, all built at BAE Systems plant in Barrow-in-Furness. Kaya Lark reports. The keel-laying is a naval tradition which marks the start of the construction phase of the boat. It'll take eight years before HMS Anson is ready to be handed over to the Royal Navy, the fifth of seven astute-class submarines. Here, it's laid vertically instead of being on its side, a quicker and safer way to assemble the components. This is the most powerful uh, attack submarine that the Royal Navy has ever had, and uh, this is a programme which is uh, continuing to deliver efficiency and value for money for the Royal Navy. The astute class are amongst the stealthiest in the world, quieter than a baby dolphin, making them almost undetectable. She'll circumnavigate the globe without resurfacing and won't need to refuel during her 25-year lifespan. In Barrow, work is underway on three submarines. Thousands of people will contribute to the programme, among them one young apprentice who's learning groundbreaking techniques. This is a milestone for us. Uh, it's a privilege to work on you know, the nuclear submarines as well. It's a really big thing. Outside, HMS Ambush has completed her first dive and will soon start sea trials. The astute class programme was dogged with problems in the early days, but now the company making them say they are back on track. But the legacy of the SDSR means that they now must make savings of £900 million over the next decade without compromising on capability or safety. That's a significant amount of money saved from the programme and it's our intention with industry to deliver that and so far we're on track and working hard to deliver that. It's vital in any uh, defence programme today to deliver cost effectiveness. Uh, the Astute programme has had its challenges in the past and we focus very hard on trying to make the programme much more predictable because if we can make the programme predictable and, and shorten the programme durations we can help very much reduce costs. HMS Anson will be handed over to the Royal Navy in 2018 and is due to come into service at the end of this decade. Kyle Ark, Forces News in Barrow-in-Furness.